Oh gosh golly gee willikers man, I sure do love spending a nice day at the local amusement park. Isn't that right Jeremy? Just a place full of wonder and glee. Huh, well, except for all those incidents. Never been the same since the incidents. Ah, but it's gonna be fun today. It's gonna be fun. Liminal Land, an analog horror series about a seemingly innocent, family friendly amusement park. We all have those local amusement parks that honestly seem like they should probably be shut down with how much duct tape is holding the roller coaster together, but it's all in good fun, isn't it? Until it's not. Apparently, some missing people are uh, going. Well, no, they were not missing. For, they're, they're just regular people until they go missing. So they're just people who go missing later on. People are going missing at this park or something strange in general. I'm not really too sure. I've seen a few people talking about this series and I wanted to give it a try. Maybe we'll be able to find out what happened to these people. I don't know. I mean, if it's up to me and Jeremy, I feel like something's gone wrong in the investigation process, but let's get into this. I'll have the videos linked in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. LVVT Channel 5 sign off 1988 missing persons. Contrary to the small population side of Lake Valley, the high number of missing personnel case is likely attributed to the numerous incidents that took place within nearby Liminal Land Park. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. our national anthem. National Anthem, okay, uh, weird way to start a sign off about missing people, but I guess? Hey, half the town went missing, but <laughs> better play the National Anthem. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, missing. Margaret Jack Jacobson. Jacobson? Is that a real number? Five oh five six six no definitely not. Or it Frank Struther? They said it was a surprisingly large amount of people. Angie? Yunez? Jeez, that's sad. So oh They all look like very happy people, Sherry. Oh. Dang. Four people so far. Five people. Oh my god. So young. Mark. My name's Mark. But he spelled his name wrong. So honestly, you know, like, it's supposed to be spelled with a C, you know. RIP. Oh. Herman Reed. Man, wait. How many people did go. After, like, the first two, like, dude, shut down the park, man. How, oh, a bunch of kids. That's sad. It keeps going. How how good was this park that you guys wanted to keep it open for so long? Like, yeah, I know 16 people went missing, but dude, have you had the cotton candy? The Ferris wheel? Oh, it's to die for, literally, because so many people died, like Lisa here. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Oh, man. So many missing people. Please tell me that's it. You're making me really uncomfortable. You're making me really uncomfortable. Okay, I was expecting like a face to pop up. Uh, so that just set a very eerie tone, I guess, for the series. I don't know how so many people go missing before something gets shut down. There's got to be something more behind it. This next video is company training tape. So hopefully, yeah, we're going to get into the, the lore behind Liminal Land. It's a really weird name for amusement park. It doesn't scream like family fun time, you know? It screams like existentialism? Maybe a little bit of, of dread? Welcome to Liminal Land. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey folks, come on down to Liminal Land. Bring the kids. They might die, but it's a fun time. Sorry. Orientation. Course six. Ooh, we're grateful that you have joined us. Ah. I'm not. A job's a job though, right? As you see, we pride ourselves in ensuring that each visitor's experience is nothing short 
of positive. And if they don't have a positive visit, we take them in the back and kill them. We have to spot the dissatisfied visitors. Okay. Who could be dissatisfied at Liminal Land? Wow, look at that place. That looks pretty fun, very vibrant. I mean, they look a little scared, maybe. I mean, what? It's just they're just on a roller coaster, man. This is the person. Are they really dissatisfied? They look just on a roller coaster, man. It's just now you try. Okay, I know when people are dissatisfied. I, look I can, at the I can photo. spot that. I get. Oh, hello. Why? Are, weird locker room, man. That's the person. Okay, this is the person. Look at the photo. Very dissatisfied. Oh, why do they look like... Do they have eyes? Sorry, it just looks a little scary. Are, are, are we sure they're dissatisfied, not just look possessed? Look at the photo. Hi, Grandma! <laughs> what? You're looking more like Jeremy. What? She looks happy. This is the person? For the most part, Look looks pretty happy. <gasps> what the? Oh my gosh, if I see this... That group of kids running me in a hallway, I'm getting my sword. Where? This is the person. Look at the they photo. They all looked a little dissatisfied. What is with their faces? It's They're like warped. That was probably just like a Snapchat filter, man. It's Those the people. This is the person. Okay, well, uh, go talk to customer service, man. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, am I done my orientation? <laughs> if you encounter a dissatisfied visitor, be sure to make their day by suggesting additional park activities. What? Passcode right? Okay, it sounds like I've joined a cult, not gotten a job somewhere, man. What is this? A forever visitor? I don't think this company's being, like, trying to hide the fact that they're, they've got something devious going on. Liminal land. Man, what? The people have got to be going missing in the park, right? That's, I don't even think anybody is really questioning that. I feel like that's, like, a known fact about everything. I'm just going to get the, the sword here for... You know, my safety in case one of those kids comes. I'm just gonna, you know, pull an Anakin on them, you know? No younglings getting past me. Just imagine you see this group of children coming at you in the dead of night in an abandoned hall, but just, just cut them down, you know? That's, that's why I keep the blade on me. Oh, man. Investigation tape, the liminal land anomaly. Covered investigation tape detailing strange occurrences surrounding something nicknamed the liminal land anomaly. We have an idea of what this ride could be. However, it's still mostly ambiguous. So this one is gonna going, be going back to the missing people, I guess, case file. So was this a known issue at Liminal Land for like a while? The anomaly within Liminal Land. Dude, if theme park's got an anomaly, I don't think it should be operational. In recent months, NMSB has been made aware of <laughs> An anomalous attraction at Limoland Park. Shut it down, man. What is this? The rise believed to be tied to numerous causes of facial deformity, noted by the Lake Valley Regional Hospital. Oh, so we, is that why the people's faces looked like that in the photos? It's because of a ride? Has declined to cover these cases on local television as visual, visual depictions are not suitable for a general audience. Wow. We hope this recording will serve as a suitable and alternative case study for the liminal land anomaly. Man, wait, so how many times did this happen that they gave it a name? Name Rick. Hi, Rick. 42. Hi, Rick. Like a nice guy, nice fellow. Rick visited Liminal Land in July of 1988. He has a wife and three children. And he was six days out from retirement, man, and they just had to go mess up his face. He allegedly snuck away from his family 
to ride the liminal land anomaly alone wait they call it the anomaly that's the attraction like that's their their drawing feature is that they call it the anomaly photograph was the last time his family saw him alive who took the photo that's a weird photo to take he was walking what the following photos are an illustration of his facial structures after riding the liminal land anomaly his deformity. What happened? He, he looks happy. He, he looks happy. He looks... It's, that's a happy family man right there. Rick's cause of death remains under investigation until further notice. Oh, they're dying of the deformity. I mean, I, like... We got a new victim. Oh, gosh. Lena, age 44. Seems like a... Nice person. What a nice person. A teacher. Oh, you're a teacher. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, uh, she brought her first grade class to Liminal Land. 1984. So they knew about this for years. That's messed up, man. Not gonna lie, it looks like a fun attraction. I'd go on it. She decided to take the children on the park's paradise playrooms. They're definitely killing people in here. That's... Lena remained with the children for seven minutes before she suddenly left the building through the rear exit. Suddenly left. The children were left alone for eight hours and never noticed that she left. What? That's great. What is... Lena's body was discovered in a patch of dirt behind Liminal Land Anomaly. Seems like something's drawing these people to the ride, almost. The following photo is an illustration of his, her facial structure after her body was recovered. Oh no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everybody has a huge smile on their face after this ride. Seems like a fun time. They filed police refused to elaborate on their findings from the crime scene. I mean, what are you going to elaborate? That's how do you even explain that? So this was all like public information. Oh, no. Maria, 48. Oh, no. Oh, well, you were a director. It was Limelan alone in November of 1982. 82. So it's been at least six years between this and the first case. Maria allegedly rode the <laughs> the wheel. <laughs> Sorry, just just called the wheel. Great name. What a great name. That day, Limelin Anomaly was reportedly closed for repair. Yeah, because there were too many body parts stuck in it from all the dead people. Mark employees were seeing a woman near the ride's controls. It did nothing to question or stop her. Because they're all controlled by it? I don't know. Shortly after, the ride reported engaged with the woman being in the furthest rail car in the rear. She just wanted to ride the ride. I come all the way out to Liminal Land, I want to ride the Anomaly. The Liminal Land Anomaly was allegedly closed due to faulty failsafe, ooh, causing the ride to run multiple times per session. Sounds like more fun to me! <laughs> Who doesn't love more rides? That day, the ride ran for 26 minutes, non-stop. Sounds like a great 26 minutes, sounds like she had a fun time at Liminal Land. The following photo is an illustration of Maria's facial structure after the ride was brought under control. What happened to her face? Oh. All of her hair is gone too, but she's still got a smile. Still happy. Everybody has like a huge smile on their face. Almost like the ride is forcing them to have fun. Maybe that's what they meant when they were talking about like dissatisfied customers. Maria's incident marks the first known death by Liminal Land and not closed down the ride. It's not even a question at this point. Like, they know it caused it. The investigation by the NMSP is ongoing. We don't need an investigation, man. Just close the ride. Like, it's not even a question. 
that's not what we're trying to what prove that like state police like we know the ride's dangerous why do they keep it open to protect and serve and then it was a police badge odd it almost seems like there is a huge cover-up happening for the ride like it has some kind of psychological effect on maybe the people working there maybe the people in the town maybe all those employees didn't try to stop maria because of something that goes on in the training process maybe that's why we only saw the six video maybe because seven was called a right that just seems a little bit you know mind control i don't know like a rite of passage or you know I, I don't know it just seems like people should have caught on right that hey maybe this amusement park should be shut down i don't know if this happened at like six flags six flags closing down you know nobody's going to six flag if it starts messing people's faces up like this right that that would be devastating i don't know what kind of law team uh liminal land theme park has but they've got the best lawyers in town if they can afford to stay open after somebody's dead and ends up like that like that's insane and it just keeps happening it kept happening for years and years it started in 1982 and we had that case from 1988 like it happened for six years it's a lot of dead people the reason i talked about maybe the ride is almost drawing them in is because all the cases we heard of were people suddenly and very drastically being drawn to the ride away from their group away from the people they were with away from everything they were doing they dropped everything to go on this ride no matter what no matter if it was closed no matter if they were there with their family but it just seems like there's something more going on here than just a ride deforming people's faces which is honestly a, a crazy thing to say because that should be the main concern but it seems like there's something more psychological about this park. This next video is entitled Found Footage, Welcome Home. Internal company training tapes recovered and submitted by an anonymous source. Strangely, this video appears to be taped over. As far as we know, the victim depicted here has never been found. License for private home employee viewing only? I, listen, I'm not that, but I've got a sword, so I think that qualifies me. Now, this is some some 80s theme park i like it you know except for you know, all the dead people man if it wasn't for all the dead people liminal land sounds like it'd be fun i saw the pictures it looked like a nice place except for you know all the dead people you know but that's not something you can easily gloss over maybe one or two but not like eight man that's new home associate thank you for joining our team i wish i didn't we're thrilled to have you here we look forward to seeing your contributions to the betterment of liminal land and our park goers. In other words, welcome to your new home. Home. Because you'll never leave. <laughs> so what is home? Holistic, opportune, mutual experience. Sounds great. The home is... Project strives to encompass a feeling of comfort and a homeliness long associated with the American suburbia. Where does all the dead people fit into that, hmm? Simply put, home is where we cater to our guests' desires to stay in the fun. Oh, whoa. <laughs> we absolutely must maintain the stability and imagery of home to ensure the guests stay as long as possible. What's with all the pictures? Hey. Do people get to leave Lumen Land? Oh. Ooh. This is a picture of the, the theme park. Park entrance. I get it's just a map, but almost it looks like Norons. Like, like it's alive, you know, which is crazy to think about. It's definitely not alive. Uh, it's an opportune place to stay. Unless you ride that one anomaly ride, then, you know, now you might ask us, doesn't home seem rather small and far away from a lot of the park? Well, there's more than meets the eye, lying just beneath it. You're making it feel like there's some, some weird going on here. Here's a visual comparison between the toll area of home re residencies to overall size of the park. What? Since home is situated directly beneath the entire park, 
It's over at the... Okay, it's underneath the park. Okay. That is huge. Whoa. So people are living under this park? What? Okay. Cor Why is course spelled like that? It's very important that we spot and correct our mess and inconvenience. Okay. Time for you to use what you have learned so far. Try and spot the inconvenience in the following images. Why does the O in course look like that, man? Uh, do you see it? No. I guess not. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'll try better to see things. Where do the windows go? There you go, silly. We're not supposed to have windows? Let's try again, shall we? Wait, wait, there was no door either. Because you can never escape. You can never leave case study. The following footage tape will serve as an integral example showing how improper containment measures lead to anomalous occurrence for home residents. Are they living in an SCP facility? Pay attention. Thoroughly know what went wrong. We never want to see incidents such as this one again. That's a lot of pressure. Note at the end of each segment, the message will briefly be displayed. Each message will indicate one or more of the following. Important information regarding anomalous occurrence, what to avoid, what kind of behavior we hate to see our subjects exhibit, which areas are prohibited from being accessed by Sharon Associates? What? What does that mean? Who are they? Oh, no. Yeah, so they do have people living in an SCP facility. What in the world? They have people living in these houses? Dude, that's not even a house back there. That was just painted on. That's not even a house. It's coming soon. How much is the rent? How much is the mortgage? Come on, tell me. I, You know, in today's day, maybe I will live on the, under liberal land. You never know. You know, what's, what's the price on these bad boys? What a creepy place to be abandoned. How are they in the mail down there? How do you invite somebody over if you live underground? Is that Liminal Mart? Don't tell me they have a Liminal Mart. I wouldn't go inside if I were you. Who am I to make decisions for you though? Don't you dare trust that gut feeling you have. Nope, go right on inside. You hear that and you keep going? You bad survival. <laughs> Don't follow strange sounds. No, I know that. Tell that to this person. Don't enter a stranger's house. Again, all stuff I know. This person, not so much. How's the power still on? It's going to be one of those kids with the weird faces and I'm going to cut them down, I swear. actually pretty spacious not gonna lie i wouldn't hate to live here i think oh. never mind i take it all back stop 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 oh, my hair's everywhere everywhere standing up on my legs on my neck my arms City will become a regret that's so vague and threatening where are we man what well this house slowly devolved hello don't fall 
all of the voices. You're so bad at surviving. This person is dead. This person is dead. Why is that room on fire? I heard screams. Hi, 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 hi. Do not what? Do not what? Do not go in there. I'm not trying to. I didn't have that on my itinerary for this weekend. Did you end up in the back rooms? Why does it always end up in the back rooms? How does it keep ending up in the back rooms? The wallpaper looks so bland. It's moldy. Gross. Is it bad to eat moldy wallpaper? Why are all the ice cubes? Listen, you sound very panicked, but you'll never be seen. What? You may never be right, you're already dead. Yeah, like this person seems very panicked, but like, come on, man. What did you think was going to happen with this little exploring adventure? Oh, no. Oh, they're so lost. There's so many exit signs. It's like they're just taunting you. Are you on the other entrance to... Liminal Mart? Where are you? Is this where all those missing people have been living? Those who seek departure. We hope you've learned from others' mistakes. I have. Trust me, Your Honor. I am not going to go exploring in Liminal Land. I'm not going to film a YouTube stuck in Liminal Land at 3 a.m. challenge gone wrong video. I'm not doing that. That sounds like a horrible idea. Now, this is the last video in the series, and it was uploaded pretty recently, only a couple of weeks ago, titled Investigation Tapes Mommy's Friend. I don't think it's going to be friendly. Recovered investigation tape focusing on the manhunt for Sofia Munoz, a story written by her daughter, appears to be an incriminating piece of evidence, yet it is unclear if either of the two have been found. Ooh. It's kind of crazy because it was like a few months ago since the last upload, and this just came out a couple weeks ago. Mommy's friend. Hopefully this gives us a lot more explanation of what that person found down there, maybe in the found footage. I'm interested to see. It continues their investigation in the strange activity happening at the Lake Valley. Ooh. I mean, well, I'm glad that somebody's investigating it, man. Last week, detectives received a tip directly into the Muniz residence. What did they find in there? Allegedly, Sofia Munoz has been acting increasingly erratic since her daughter disappeared under unknown circumstances. Oh, wait, no, this wasn't. Okay, so this is not one of the kids. Okay. But maybe her daughter disappeared at Liminal Land. I thought this was one of the kids that disappeared. She alleges that her daughter was last seen in her care at 504 Dorado Street. So not Lumina Land? Oh. That's spooky. According to her testimony, what? she ran away from home in the dead of night. Don't tell me she went to Lumina Land. Don't tell me it drew her out. During the incident, Sophia alleged that she was asleep in her bed. Heard not a single sound to wake her. It's so odd. But that kind of Detectives have been given no reason to suspect that Sophia is still living. What? Yet what motive does Angie have to run? 
It sounds like what drew in the other people to the anomaly ride. Like the dad and the most recent search of the unit's home. Drawings from the missing daughter were discovered. Mommy's friend. Me. Who is who is mommy's friend? It's a story called Mommy's Friend. That is horrifying. The discovery prompted an immediate manhunt for Sophia, yet she has fled her home. Hmm. This is the story. Mom's friend. Oh my gosh, dude. Can we stop? <laughs> stop making it creepier than it is. What? Mommy's friend. Drawn by Angie. This is my mommy. Hello. Mmm, that smile. That smile, man. The smiles. What? Mommy takes me everywhere. Well, that's nice. Seems like a fun time. Oh, they went to Lemon Land. Of course they did. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Oh, to Lemon Land. Hmm. Sounds like a fun time, right? I was so excited. I feel so bad. I feel so bad, man. But then mommy made me sad. What did she do? Oh. What? Mommy takes me in this house? Dude. What? Inside there were more houses. Oh, like home underneath the What? Mommy looked What? Mommy said she was looking for a friend. So this happened at home, right? The home facility follow me. It's okay. I don't think it was okay. Did they find her friend? I just realized how dark the room got. I don't like this man. Inside was mommy's friend. I'm glad they found their friend. I'm glad they found their friend. What is that? That's not a friend. That's not friend shaped. What the f Mommy's friend. What is that? What is that? What is that? That looks like a de demon. That looks like a demon. Don't make me. Huh? Don't zoom in. What's with the face? I thought this was going to jump at me. Reasonably that Sophia was involved in the disappearance of her daughter. But what happened to her? Wanted. Huh. Jeez. Okay, so it looks like this series is still very much ongoing. You know, I was talking about how there felt like there was some kind of other presence at work in Liminal Land that was kind of maybe taking over people's minds, maybe manipulating them, maybe just making them act out of character, and maybe messing with their memories too. I don't I don't know. Because maybe it was taking over Sophia to to lure in other people. I don't know. It feels like there's something otherworldly at work here. Because that last picture with mommy's friend definitely looked like a demon. Am I right? That was not something normal. Nor did it even look like some of the deformities. So I don't know what that was. But I'm very eager to see where this series goes next. Of course, 
Leave me any of your thoughts and theories down in the comments. I think there's something demonic almost at play here. I think there's something in the depths of the, the home facility that they don't want you to find. And it might be the heart of what is drawing people to the Liminal Land Anomaly Ride, maybe drawing them to the park in general. For what purpose? I don't know. I don't know what's happening to the people with their deformities. Maybe it's like an entity that lives off of people's emotions, you know, like how Pennywise lives off of people's fear, like in the Stephen King universe. That might make sense because that's why there can be no dissatisfied customers. And that's why all the people's faces deform into such a, a wide smile. So maybe whatever that entity was down there, mommy's friend, maybe it feeds off of people's happiness. I don't know. That might make sense of why they wanted people to live so close to the park and never leave to be a constant supply of food, of energy. I don't know. I'm spitballing. Let me know your theories down in the comments. I would love to see some other perspectives on this. And of course, I'll have the videos linked in the description if you want to check them out. This series is amazing. I subscribed. Go check out Liminal Land. I want to see more of this. This last video was posted just three weeks ago. So hopefully we're due for something new soon. Either way, here's a few people that definitely wouldn't try to murder me in an amusement park. Our channel members. Thank you for supporting myself and the channel and not trying to murder me and deform my face. Thank you. Either way, thank you all for joining today's adventure and reacting to Luminal Land. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And of course, hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember with courage and determination and the adventure is possible. I hope to see you on our next one. Bye-bye.